museum. Anna and I got super, super jet lagged. Actually, it's mostly just me. <laughs> and we came home and we got well rested. Now, we're headed out on day two. Where? To the zoo. Because why? We have kids. And that's a great place for kids to go. Yeah. <laughs> Coco Bean, you ready for today? Are you ready? An elephant. Yeah. And a lion. And a pig. Wow. And a lion queen. Lion <laughs> McQueen's there? That's incredible. Like five. <laughs> over there and we were just chilling we were like chatting and I don't know why we just feel so relaxed this morning we weren't thinking and we were supposed to come over to this other platform to catch our next train and we just didn't do it <laughs> and so then we saw the train pulling up we were like wait is that our train so we were like running to try and make it but we have to take the elevator because we have the stroller and we weren't even close to making it, so that was a huge fail on our part. Gives you all the information. I still messed it up. We're sitting here waiting for our second train. The last one that was ours that we missed was on this side, and then a train pulls up on this side. We're just kind of watching it like, no, this isn't our train. And then it leaves, and we look at the time and realize that that was the exact time that our train was supposed to come. And then we looked at the details. It was our train. And we just sat and watched it. Just such rookies. We sat and watched it. We're such rookies at this. But we will eventually get to the zoo. <laughs> and I were just getting off the train. He got Coco off and Emmett off, but then he ran back on. He must have forgotten something, I don't know what. And then the train left. I'm just gonna wait here until he comes back. So, I'm by myself. I got off the train, looked at Anna, looked at my stuff, felt my pockets, realized I didn't have my phone, jumped back on the train, got my phone, and the train left with me inside. My family. Hi. My phone. Phone. We met a friend of mine from Instagram here at the zoo and we've been exploring all morning. This zoo is fantastic. It's beautiful, there are so many animals, and I just love the way that it's set up. You'll have giraffes and rhinos and stuff in one, what's rhinos, it called? Zebras, a pen? gazelle. They're all in one, like a little mini African savanna, and it just, it's really nice. There's also some really cool playgrounds, so we took the kids over there to play. And then, probably the highlight, there's a little petting zoo where the kids can pet goats and these are the cutest goats I've ever seen. They're adorable. There's some baby ones, there's this mom one behind me who I think is pregnant. I don't know, she's lopsided so something's going on. It's been so fun and the kids are having a blast. Out. Coco's just been letting out all these little squeals of delight and Emmett's having a blast so this was a really really fun activity. I'm so glad we came. Yesterday we had a blast at the zoo and then we were so exhausted. So we went home, right? That's, what we did. <laughs> That's exactly what we did. I took a nap while Taylor held down the fort. I just ignored the crying, screaming, banging that I heard during my nap. We are headed out today. We're gonna go over to New Haven, <laughs> which is like the stereotypical, quintessential, Copenhagen spot. It's the beautiful houses all in a row at the canal. So we're gonna go there this morning. We got up super early. It's only 6 a.m. right now. 
and then we're gonna go get breakfast and go to Tivoli Gardens today. We made it on the first try. Yeah. Do it. Here you go, go, go. Every time we come somewhere beautiful like this, it always has its slight downsides. In this case, we're worried about Emmett falling right into the water. He's like one of those moods, the kids haven't had breakfast, Anna and I miscommunicated on who's bringing cheese, it was Anna's job and she forgot. But we are on our way to get breakfast. Just shot some video, some photos here. Honestly, this place is gorgeous. These buildings, could not be more pretty. And I wish we could spend a little bit more time here, but it's important the kids get fed because happier kids, happier Copenhagen. We found a bakery nearby to go get the kids some food. And I'm excited to see more of these beautiful streets. Just got croissants and kids are enjoying their breakfast. And we're on our way, we're going to a place a little bit later, a restaurant called Road. We came through King's Gardens and there's a playground here, so we're gonna go check it out. We've heard great things about Copenhagen playgrounds specifically, so we're gonna go see what it looks like. This is one of the most interesting parks I've ever seen. So they have sand in these little trenches that go around the whole thing with bridges. And then they have these like little I don't even know what to call this. The kids can just come and play and climb on these. Over there, there's logs. It's kind of cool because it's like really open-ended play, which I'm a huge fan of. <laughs> so we've been wanting to try this restaurant called Quo. And what we didn't realize is that it's actually inside this really cool market. There's an indoor section and an outdoor section. So we're gonna grab some oat porridge, what do they call it? And then we're gonna walk around the market. You want me to hold you? Let's see it. Wow. Looks yum. We had to get the caramel sauce because it's on everything. It's yeah. clearly their like. It's like their, homemade. Their homemade special nice. sauce. It's yummy. Then we got fresh apples, cocoa. Emmett, you gotta take that back, buddy. That's, that's, we didn't buy this. Oh, Emmett, we didn't buy this. But thing. take that back and then you can have a bite of this, okay? I'm gonna go put it back. <laughs> so this is partially stolen by Emmett, but we're gonna go return it. We got the caramel sauce because it's our homemade sauce and it just, it was on everything, so we just, we had to add it. Of course. Fresh apples, almond, granola, cocoa nibs, and- Apple compote. Roasted this, almonds. It smells amazing. It smells so it smells good. It smells so good. Stir it up like this. It's yummy. What is it, Mom? It's like really yummy oatmeal. Do you want to try it? And the apples in it? Mm, it's a little hot. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's a little bit hot. Mm, a little bit hot. Mm. That's yum. Mm. <laughs> That's delicious. Is that yummy? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Pretty Pulling good. For another bite. I have never had better oatmeal, better porridge than this. It came out really hot, steaming, as they say, and it's really like sweet. The caramel flavor is phenomenal. And then it also is, has like kind of a nutty flavor and texture. Me. Hey, look, there's a, look, there's a habanero right there. That's what that is? Yeah, I'll give you $100 cash right now if you eat one. That's our money. <laughs> Anna. Why would I pay myself $100 can, to eat a You habanero. can buy whatever you want. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And it's fun. Our friends that we went to the zoo with the other day brought these, called them donut peaches, and they just had them as a snack. I've never seen a peach like this. Let's try it. 
some donut peach for the kids. And the skibabers. Oh my gosh. Is it really yummy? Yeah. Oh. How good is that? That's super yummy. Mmm. Wow. Here, Coco, Coco. Who is your cucumber? Emmett. Emmett eats cucumbers like like apples. Like they're going out of style. They are one of his favorite. Is it yummy? Yeah. <laughs> You're cute. We are about to head into Tivoli, which we have heard is the most beautiful amusement park in the entire world. So I'm curious to see if that's true. They say it also helped inspire Walt Disney's Disneyland. Leave your sister, she wants. Dick, Florida, and Gur. Good one next name. Next name too. Wow. Dick, Florida, and Gur. <laughs> Coming to Tivoli was not a must do on my list. The main reason that I wanted to come was because it was included in the Copenhagen card and it seems like something the kids would really enjoy. But now that we've been here, I kind of feel like this is a must do in Copenhagen. Dare I say, I mean, I feel like the last few days have just been so good at the kids. Like Copenhagen in general has been fantastic. The transportation has been a cinch. There's elevators everywhere. Getting around to Voli and just all of Copenhagen and all the activities we've been doing, it's just been so kid friendly and there's so many kid focused activities, even the museum. In conclusion, I'd say Copenhagen is one of the most kid-friendly cities we've ever been to. And it's known for that, so it makes sense. 